Swiffer Duster 360. 360 means it goes 360 view all the way around this handle. Now they also sell a 180 view. You can see that on half of it, there's nothing. Let's talk a little bit about the 360. It's designed by the Procter & Gamble company who also makes Febreze. So if you love the smell of Febreze, they make the Swiffer Duster heads. These are disposable heads. They make these in unscented and Febreze scented duster heads. Yay. So if dusting has been something that you've been holding off on because you don't like doing it and you love the smell of Febreze, this might be an incentive now for you to pick up dusting. Okay. So it is a plastic head. It's about 13 inches in length and it comes apart just like this. Then when you get ready to put it back together, it just snaps in place. And there are two little tiny sleeves that this just slides right into and slides on and becomes your duster. Now, I like this duster because it's small enough that it fits in my back pocket. So as a professional house cleaner, I always have it with me and it's always just within reach. So I can be cleaning the house, doing something, and then I see some dust, grab it, take it out, dust it, put it back, and I'm good to go. So I love having it with me at all times. Now the secret to making this work is you got to have a button in your back pocket so that it holds the duster from falling out while you're using it. When I first heard about this, it was several years ago, another house cleaner called me and said, you're going to love the new Swiffer duster. And I did not love it. I was accustomed to the old one, the feather duster where you would use them and then you would shake them out when you're done. And this one does not shake. Okay. So it's designed with all of these trap and hold elements to it. So that when you shake it, like you do a regular duster, nothing comes out. And so that's kind of awesome because it traps everything inside. Now as a professional house cleaner, we are inside people's houses and we charge them for the cleaning supplies. So my suggestion is build in the cost of one of these per house, because you will use one per house. And when you're done, they look nasty. Okay. They've got lots of dust on them. Let's see if I can get up close here. You can see how nasty that looks. It's got hair and cobwebs and dust and junk on it. And this is typical of any house. You're going to get this much dust off any house, but when you're done, you don't want to take this into another customer's house. And so when you take off your gloves at the end of your cleaning, you can just peel this off like this and this goes right in the trash. All right. Now I want to show you a couple of different ways that we use the Swiffer duster. I use it on all sorts of things. For example, silk plants. If you're going to use a Swiffer duster on silk plants, what you want to do is you want to pull the stem of the silk plant out and you want to start at the base of the silk plant and you want to brush towards yourself so that you're brushing the dust in the direction or the grain of the plant. It's also great for real plants that have deposits on them, either from themselves or from dust or debris or whatever. So you can use them on real and silk plants. Another thing we use the Swiffer duster on are our blinds. So if you have blinds that are really icky from a customer's house, the first time you clean their blinds, you may want to clean them with soap and water. And then after that, just use your Swiffer duster because the pattern of using them on the blinds is very easy to do and it will keep your blinds dust free. And again, because it traps the stuff that's there. If there are any cobwebs inside the windows, it will trap that. Then you can just brush the window down and the window sill and you're done. Let's say that you have something fine like glasses on a baker's rack. When you use this on the glasses on the baker's rack, you just want to be very careful that you hold the glasses in place so that you don't knock them off as you're dusting. But you can dust right between those and the little filters of the microfiber cloth here it goes between the glasses. And so it fits into little nooks and crannies that normally you would not be able to reach with just a regular cloth. Another thing that we use the Swiffer duster on are stairwells. This is excellent for stairwells to reach the banister railings that you would be very hard to get between, especially if they have little decorations and designs on them, like those that you find on wrought iron stairs. And then as you come down the stairs, there are ledges on the side of the stairs that you want to make sure that you dust as well. And while you're there on the stairs, especially if it's a hardwood floor, hardwood stairs, you can actually dust the stairs themselves and make sure you get this rim underneath the stair where cobwebs like to hide. Then you sweep all your dust down to the bottom of the stairs. And guess what? There's nothing there because it trapped it inside your Swiffer duster. So if you're going to do a stairway, what I do recommend is that you use this 
and do this as one of the very last things you do cleaning a customer's house because at the end of the stairs, you're gonna wanna throw the head away because it will be full of stuff and it will be icky. All right, another thing that we like to use this on are lights. We like to use it for recessed lighting to clear out cobwebs. Now the secret of using it with lights, any light is have the light turned off because if you go at this with the light turned on and the light is hot, this can melt or it can stick to the light bulb. So you don't want that to happen. You wanna make sure that the light is turned off and cool before you go around recessed lights or inside bathroom lights or inside lamps or on the outside of lampshades. You wanna make sure that your lamps are cool. Also, if you touch a light that's hot, there's a chance if you touch the light bulb itself that the light bulb could break. So you wanna be very careful about that. But it's great for all kinds of flat surfaces. It's great for things like TV screens so that you can get all that electrostatic dust off there. It's great for entertainment centers. It's great for wood pieces of furniture. And then as you go down the sides of the wood furniture, you capture all the dust that's resting on the side and in all the ledges. And then underneath the furniture where cobwebs also like to hide. So it's a great tool because it's so flexible. It flattens out so that it slides under, under skinny places and into skinny places and between skinny places. And then again, because it's so convenient, it's always on your person. Now, there's another thing that I should mention. Swiffer Duster has an extender pole. So if there are places that you wanna reach that are up high and you don't have a step ladder, you can buy the extender version. We'll talk about that another time. But if you don't have the extender pole, we can just use a small step ladder and even get things like ceiling fans and the tops of refrigerators. And you can also get other things that are high like shelves or even cabinets. So there are so many different things that you can do with the Swiffer Duster. Now, one of my favorite uses for the Swiffer Duster is I keep it in the pocket of my car, right? As you open the door, I keep it right there between the seat and the door so that if I'm sitting there in traffic and I have a couple minutes and I'm not going anywhere, I can sit there and I can dust the front of my car with all those little nooks and crannies and crevices and I can get out any food, dust, debris, anything that may have gotten in my car when I opened the door. So another great use for the Swiffer Duster.